I remember 2005. It was my second year of university. My first year was a complete disaster, as I had been threatened with expulsion if I didn't shape up, and 2005 to 2006 was my do or die year. Something I remember vividly from my second year of university was Korn 7's studio album See You on the Other Side. The album proved that new metal was far from dead, at least for Korn. The record would peak at number 3 on the album charts and produced a pair of hits in Twisted Transistor and Coming Undone. Bands sometimes go to some pretty extreme lengths to promote their albums and Korn was no different. They would become the first multi-platinum rock band to perform a concert at nearly 40,000 feet during a transatlantic flight, and that's what we're going to discuss in today's video. In addition to releasing a new album in 2005, Korn would appear on some high-profile TV shows including Saturday Night Live and Jimmy Kimmel Live. It's hard to believe that despite being together for a decade, the band hadn't played these shows before, but frontman Jonathan Davis would give his reasoning telling MTV News at the time, we had a thing against doing TV for a long time because the way it sounded and the way bands came across on it, but there have been leaps and bounds of technology so we're going to give it a try, he'd say. After the band's appearance on Saturday Night Live in November of 2005, the plan was for Korn to fly across the pond to England for a club show at London's Forum before heading back to New York City to play the Hammerstein Ballroom. The band would team up with MTV Europe to run a contest where 40 European fans across the continent would be joining them for a trek back to America and witness an intimate concert at 37,000 feet in the air. This was an idea that the band had been kicking around for quite a while with Davis telling MTV, we've talked about doing something like this for a while. We've talked about getting on a plane and playing 8 different countries in 24 hours, but it just seemed cool to get some fans and fly them and do a special show he'd say. The airplane concert would take place around November 29, 2005, and it was done to celebrate the release of the band's seventh studio album, See You on the Other Side, which came out about a week later. The concert would be taped for a DVD release titled Quarren Live on the Other Side, which also had footage from their Hammerstein Ballroom show in New York City. Quarren's show at the Hammerstein Ballroom was their first headline performance in the US since the departure of their guitarist Brian Head Welch earlier in the year, and the airline concert would air as part of a half an hour special the band was doing on MTV2. Not only did the concert feature winners from MTV Europe, but it also featured eight service members from the US military who were on a break from their deployments from either Afghanistan or Iraq. The band would end up performing a five song set while the plane flew over Iceland and Greenland and included the songs Blind, Freak on a Leash, and Got the Life. Davis would tell MTV how the gig worked telling the network, we use battery powered practice amps, David played this little drum set for a kid. We could only set up in the bulkhead, so I had to hide behind some seats and I sank through the PA on the airplane, he'd say. That does it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, button, and subscribe, and we'll see you again in Rock and Roll Stories. Take care.